There was a video that came out the other day of local news stations literally reading a script. Now, this script was given by the parent company, Sinclair Broadcasting Group, and they control 39% of the viewership in this country when it comes to local news. Local news is not supposed to be pushing national narratives. They're supposed to cover what's going on in the local communities and giving the local communities the news and the weather, sports, etc. But since Sinclair is Pearl Trump, then that is changing. Well, let's roll that clip. Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible, one-sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 What you heard in that video and why it's so important for us to pay attention to this, America is going down the route of propaganda. And we know propaganda has always existed, but now it's open propaganda, what Sinclair is doing. They're making all of them read a script. Now, a lot of the journalists anonymously stated how they didn't want to do that. They are journalists. They want to cover the news, not push any kind of scripts. But if they come out publicly and state who they are, they can lose their job. And the way those contracts are set up with Sinclair is that if they were to quit, then they got to pay back salary. They got to pay back bonuses, etc. And Sinclair will be dirty enough to take them to court. Sinclair also, if a lot of you remember the show uh, Underground that was real good on WGN, Sinclair purchased that station and immediately shut down Underground, a very good show that a lot of us liked. It was the best rated show they had on that channel. Sinclair didn't care about it, and we see why. They're pro-Trump. So what I'm saying is America is heading down a dark path. You having mass censorship. People can't have political discussions anymore. You have an open propaganda. You have a president that want to be a dictator. Literally he's calling people all kinds of names. They have no proof of anything. I mean, we are just in a crazy situation, but what I'm trying to say to a lot of us within the African American community is we need to have our own media and control that and pay attention to our narratives. We cannot have the narratives of the mainstream media or even the local media because the local media is now compromised. This is like some new world order kind of stuff. You have to read this script from the top so you can indoctrinate the people so we can control them. I always told you he or she who owns information has control of the minds of the people. This is why they spend so much money on media. They spend a lot. What we take in and from our wonderful Patreon members and, and many of you who have just donated uh, through the mail or one-time donations, the many wonderful people who have done that to help us continue to do what we do here, it's not even a scratch on the surface of what people like Sinclair is spending. And Sinclair is going to control 70% 
of the markets because what they're going to do is they're going to sell off part of what they own in Tribune and then gather up all these stations in a deal where they can own 70% because according to the FCC, you can't own no more than 39% of the viewership, but they're getting around that under Trump where they can own 70%. So now the majority of the stations is going to start quoting pro Trump speech, which is totally wrong. And any journalist that may watch this video, you didn't go to college to become a puppet. You didn't go to college to parrot what Donald Trump or any other president said. You went to college to be a newscaster, to be a producer, to be out in the field, gathering the news. It, it's, it's fun to get, do the news. We enjoy giving out the information. And for someone to tell you here, read this script, or it's your job, because basically if you didn't read the script, it was your job, it's just a messed up situation. And this is how is this making America great again? How is that making America great again? I don't see how is you trying to take rights away. You trying to silence opinions, censorship. It's going on. Like I said, on both sides, it's just not one side doing it. I see it on both sides. And we, especially in our community better get together, control our narratives, control our schools, because they the same propaganda that's in his news is in the schools too. We don't have time to play with the education of our children, the safety of our children, even the news that you listen to. We don't have time to play. We don't. We have to control it all and feed it to our brothers and sisters. Just like the Hispanic community have Telemundo and they feed their uh, community the news. This is how we have to automatically be with our news that we have to come to our brothers and sisters to get the news because what they're doing is not right at all. It's not right. So please be mindful of what news you're watching. Please be mindful of the information you take in. Like, so we appreciate everyone that watches of course, and we appreciate everyone that subscribe here, but no one, and I will tell all of you this, no one gives me marching orders. No one tells me read a script. No one tells me anything. It comes from my heart, my mind, and what I write down as my research. That is it. We will never allow anyone to come in to advise me the network to tell us to read on a script. That's not going to happen. That's not authentic that way. The people deserve you to be authentic, organic, and just give them the facts and let them make their own decisions at the end of the day. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this propaganda style things that Sinclair group is doing to the American people. And are you going to still watch Sinclair's media because they're literally trying to make robots out of all of us.